Are you tired of the preacher utilizing the pulpit to put you down and put your personal business out on the street? Mm -hmm. I know I am. I had it done to me. Are you tired of the pimp on the pulpit? Mm -hmm. Those who misuse the word of God and, and ministering as a boy in a girl club, seeking to take advantage of your mother, your sister, your daughters, your granddaughters for their own sin. I remember, uh, I remember a few years back that one situation that someone was trying to take advantage of my wife. Not mentioning any names or anything, but I'm going to give you circumstances. Circumstances is I was told I was going to deploy to Afghanistan when the Afghanistan war got started. And I wasn't in the army then. But if you, but as time, and I, and I was preparing myself. And then one, then as I was explaining to this individual, about the situation, he said, that, uh, Reverend, don't you worry about a thing. I'll take good care of your wife. Why would you say anything like that? Indiscretion. You got to read between the lines and use common sense. I would never say anything like that to any man about his wife. Because it's not my place to say that. I have a wife of my own. And some people will say things that has a hidden agenda. If you're truly called by God, he said, all day the individual should say it, Reverend Arnold, is there anything I need to do I can do for you and your family? Do you, if you need anything, just let us know. The church will help you. That's all that needs to be said. But you don't narrow it down, it's forget my kids, forget my children, forget me. You're gonna narrow it down to my wife. That's out of order. God's word said to do things decent and in order. Mm -hmm. Have you ever wondered why so many leaders in the church are doing the very things out of context to the word of God? Total disregard of scriptures? I, I remember going to attending a, a a minister's conference down in Virginia, uh, in Hampton, Virginia. And in that conference, I learned, this is what I learned from the conference. I learned how to hoop and holler. <coughs> I learned how to get my, my wife and every sister's own in the pews motivated. <laughs> I learned to say that forget about the men. Don't worry about the men because they don't come anyway. Your audience, your target is the women. Why? 